What's going on everyone? Frankenstein Gaming coming at you with another video today. We're gonna do some eShop review, eShop state of, you know, what's coming out, what we're anticipating, how broke my wallet's gonna be, hashtag dust. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna do a little bit of physical discussion, some digital. I'm gonna ask for your preferences on games, what you're most hyped for, what you're not so hyped for, whether you're like me and you're just gonna get everything, because why not? So as you can see here on the screen, uh, this is some of my wish list. Keep in mind, some games I'm getting are physical. Uh, we're also live streaming right now on twitch.tv slash Frankenstein underscore gaming. Make sure to check that out as well. But yeah, some of these are physical. Some of these are going to be digital. Uh, the ones on the eShop wish list are obviously going to be uh, digital purchases. So first you got Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duels Link Evolution. This clocks in at $39.99. It's releasing August 20th. $39.99 USD that is. Uh, this is by Konami. From what I hear, there's 9,000 cards in the game, and it goes across all the different shows, seasons, timelines for Yu-Gi-Oh! since its fruition. So you can imagine what that's like. You know, you got fully animated battles and all the monsters and whatnot. Yugi and Kaiba are of course have been there, and even the newer characters who I don't really know too well. Um You got the you know normal display board with the cards and whatnot. And uh, I think it's even online from what I see here. Yeah, two players online and local wireless. So that's pretty sweet. It's going to be, if you get it digitally, it will be 1.4 gigs to download. So not, not a big game compared to the ones we've seen like Wolfenstein, DC Universe. Um, so there's that. Definitely excited for that. Uh, Layers of Fear Legacy. Now, this is an older game, but it's a horror game. And I thought about maybe picking it up for October. Clock's in at $19.99, already released. You got Collection of Mana, which this is on my wish, wish list because it is out digitally, but it's coming out physically, I believe, August. Actually, it might be this week. I'm not sure on that. Let me double check. August something. Give me one second. August. Uh, mana Collection. Collection of Mana physically is coming out August 27th. Okay, so that's the same day. Is Astral Chain. Or no, three days before Astral Chain, because Astral Chain is August 30th. So you got that. Now, it's on my wish list, because I'm not even sure if I'm going to pick it up. I, I have nostalgia for some of the collection of mana, but... <sighs> yeah, it comes with Final Fantasy Adventure, Secret of Mana, and Trials of Mana, but they're remaking Trials of Mana, so I might just wait. I don't know, we'll see on that. Rad, I'm going to pick up. $20 game, you get the mutations and whatnot. It's by Bandai Namco, 1999, releasing August 20th. Another August 20th game. Uh, if you pre-order it, you get two character styles on a joystick bat, which is cool. 3.4 gigs. Uh, Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet. Now, I got Sword Art Online Hollow Realization, and I really liked it. Uh, I didn't get to play it as much as I wanted to, but Fatal Bullet is a cool anime. If you like FPS, it's literally just like that in the Sword Art universe. This is $59.99, comes in at 6.4 gigs. And it does have online as well. There's all the DLC included, because I believe it's like their... Deluxe edition or whatever. Yeah, it has all the DLC. Um, there's three DLC packs total. You get in-game items and whatnot. They do have this physically, but the downside is that it's only in the European region. So if you want to physically... Well, actually, it might be Japan too. But uh, if you want to physically, you have to import it. So that's kind of a bummer. I think I might just get it digitally because I got the last one digitally. But who knows? Um, from there, we also have, uh, Oninaki. Now, I do want this game. This is by Square Enix as well. Kind of has the same art style as, uh, dang, it's escaping me. Um, someone in the chat might be able to help me out. Uh, it's one of their first few games that released on Switch. I Am Setsuna. Got it. As well as maybe even a sequel to that. They're, they're, the game's cool. They had a demo out that you can even play and download right now. And if you play through the demo, it transfers your characters over, so that's really sweet. Or your progress over. If you pre-order it, you get Uku Oke Setsu Getsu for free. I guess that's a character. Oka Setsu... I don't know how to say that, I'm sorry. Uh, this is 3.1 gigs clocking in at, and it releases August 22nd. So, you know, if you like that art style, you like the gameplay, you know, might be something for you. I'm totally going to get it. Also interested in Yoku's Island Express at some point, Contra Anniversary Collection, still haven't gotten Shakedown Hawaii, 
I want to get the Phoenix a Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney trilogy as well. Uh, as for other games coming out, I have Astral Chain paid off. That's going to be sweet. Getting that physically. Uh, Damon X Machina, probably going to get physically, although I still might be tempted to cancel it. Um, that's a mech game, for all those of you who don't know. And, of course, Link's Awakening, the remake. I'm going to be getting that, as well as the Link Amiibo and the three-pack Amiibo that are coming out uh, September, which is like, you know, I think it's September 20th. And that's just September and August. Sink that in for a second. Let it sink in. Because we still have to get through October. So I have to get at least Ghost Recon, COD, and Luigi's Mansion. In November, I have to get Doom, the Star Wars game, Pokemon. I'm going to be spending like over a grand if this actually happens the way it's looking like it's going to happen. And that's just in games I want. I also recently picked up Race Die Run, which is hilariously fun. You got to make it through the level without getting hit or anything. I'm interested in Torok, but I don't know if I'm actually going to get it. Um, Neverlast, I saw, but I wasn't sure about. Pillars of Eternity, I'm not too keen on because I played it on PC a lot. Gravekeeper I picked up. I haven't played it yet, but it looks like just Diablo-style kill a bunch of waves of enemies. Um, what else do we have on the eShop? Tap Skaters looked okay, actually. I was looking this, looking at this uh, recently. It's kind of like just a platformer for skating. Uh, maybe it might even be a phone game. I'm not sure. Um, other notables. Forbidden Arts, The Escapist 2, Damsel... DC Universe Online I downloaded 25 gigs or so, but it's super sweet. It's nice to have another MMO on the Switch other than that Japanese one that we got from Mobile Port and Warframe. Um, Play Gink, can't go wrong with that. $15 a little steep for me. I, I would have probably charged 5 or 10 but it might come with all the DLC, and in that case, it's probably worth it. I used to play it on my phone and iPad a lot. Um, Chroma Squad, I heard, is a good game from a few different friends of mine in the Nintendoverse. Uh, you kind of like Power Rangers-y. Phobia I did a review for. Uh, what else do we really see here? Mutant Year Zero. I heard good things. I haven't gotten it yet. Forager. I love this game. Let's highlight this. This game is, is pretty sweet. Um, it's a crafting game top down. And you go through the map and you kind of just craft and unlock stuff. It's kind of like Minecraft but 2D and top down. It's a lot of fun so far. It's worth the $20. The developer is really sweet. Uh, Humble, Bumble, Humble Bundle produced it, I believe. 135 megs, so nothing big at all. Um, the Messenger, Messenger 2, or Messenger DLC is out. You got the Trine 3 with also having a Trine collection come out. There's also the Boulders Gate collection coming out, 1 and 2. Doom 1, 2, and 3 recently released. There's literally the Switch... We're in a renaissance of gaming just on the Switch alone. It's it's crazy. I mean, you got these great deals happening all the time. Um, you got bestsellers right now between all games and download only. Fire Emblem's killing it. Dragon Quest still killing it. Uh, as far as coming soon, you also got Friday the 13th, which releases August 13th, so a few days. You got Never Give Up, uh, Exception. Actually, Friday the 13th is tomorrow, huh? Yeah, that releases tomorrow. Uh, Fell Seal, Arbiter's Mark. I was looking at that. Uh, keep going. It'll do. I have never played it, but I've heard okay things. Beholder 2. Beholder 1 was fun. Um, Far Lone Sales. I saw a friend of mine on Twitter, Lay Wayne, playing that game. Rad we spoke about. Oninaki we spoke about. Everdark Tower I wasn't sure on. Um, this is an RPG. Looks like 16-bit. Um, I don't know. I believe it's... First person turn based, so it looks okay. 349, I mean, you know, it's a pretty cheap game. So I, I might just try it because. Got some shoot 'em ups. Uh, what else do we have here that we like? Astral Chamey Smoke spoke about Spyro, I'm not gonna buy. I've played it. It's okay, it's not for me anymore. Damon X Machina. Uh, Zelda, of course. Dead by Daylight, I'm not gonna grab. Dragon Quest XI, I'm not sure about this. I really... I want to get it again. I had it on PlayStation, but I didn't play it too far. So I do want to get it. It's $59.99, comes out September 27th. It looks great, and it has the six, or the OG graphic style as well, which is exclusive to the Switch. And it's called the Definitive Edition. If you get it digitally, it's... Um, not even announced how big it's going to be yet. But it's a $60 game. 
Luigi's Mansion 3, of course. Pokemon Sword and Shield, of course. I'm getting the double pack for that. Sniper Elite 3, I'm probably not going to grab, but it is a fun game series, so... Who knows? Maybe I will. But I probably already have it on Xbox because of Game Pass, because Game Pass is actually really... But yeah, um, that's kind of the state of what I'm anticipating, what I'm hyped for. Uh, let me know if you guys are hyped for any other games in the comments or what you're looking forward to. As far as the state of the Switch in and of itself, I want themes. I want folders. I, I want to be able to organize my games, guys. That's what I want. I want to be able to put them in folders, name them whatever I want, because I have close to 250 games. I know other content creators who have my, my limit or more. I have a 400 gigabyte SD card, so I have to archive. I'm waiting to get a terabyte one. I want themes more than black and white. 3DS has had themes forever. I don't know why we can't just have themes. That's all I want. Themes, folders, being able to move the tiles. That's not a lot to ask. I'm not even asking to put party chat in. That's okay, I get it. They're pushing the phone. It's cool, I'm with it. Fine, you put all your eggs in that basket, you're trying to make sure that it stays. I understand. You could maybe give us messaging. You know, um, like text messaging. Like, oh, I see that guy's online. Like my friend Nesh here in chat, right? I invite him to a game, even. Through the messenger, without having to be in the game. Or I invite him to be in a party and we sync up and go. We don't even have to have voice chat. Or I send him a predefined message like, want to play, hi, bye, later, see you soon, good game, all that. Something. It's, I'm not asking for a lot. I mean, the messaging thing is fine. I get why they don't have it. They're trying to be family friendly and protect stuff. That's why our friend codes are like 12 characters long instead of just adding your name. Messaging would be cool though. Maybe if we had notifications like the Wii U with the little blue light or like a yellow light for a deal on the eShop or red for a yo, it's your turn in the game or something. You know what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. Messaging would be nice, but it's okay if they don't. I just want themes, the folders, and being able to put the games inside. That's that's what I would really like. Okay, I get it. It's all right. Just, just do something. Or at least acknowledge that, hey, we're not doing it because of this. Or, hey, we're working on this for future stuff. Because people have been asking for it since the Switch came out. And after a while, it's, it's kind of, I'm sure, annoying to them. But I don't think people are, like, outwardly saying, like, hey... Don't do this or whatever. They are making strides though. They have the Switch Lite coming out. They have the other uh, Nintendo console with the better battery. They're redoing the guts for most of them. There's still the rumors of the Pro. So I'm not bashing Nintendo. I'm just voicing on what I would love improvements on OS wise. And as you can see here in the featured section, Fire Emblem is still doing really well with the expansion pass. Super Mario Maker 2. Mario Tennis Aces is doing well. They have their program with uh, letting you try games for a certain amount of time now for free. More demos were never on the Switch. Um, you even got their Tetris online still. You know, they're they're doing they're doing work. It's just it's a slow burn. Marvel's still doing okay. Uh, you know, there's other featured games. Dragon Quest Builders hit over 1.1 million downloads. That's crazy. So so yeah. That this is my state of the eShop. This is August 12th, 2019. I might start making this like a regular thing, I'm not sure yet, but it was fun to do. I was in chat talking with people in Twitch and on my Discord server. So I figured why not. So once again, make sure to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Frankenstein underscore gaming and on Twitter at fstein underscore gaming. Thanks and see you guys next time. Later.